I'm a 29-year-old corporate attorney living in New York City, born and raised in New York City, and I'm a huge Survivor fan. I've watched every episode of Survivor all through my 20s. I've watched every season, and it is a dream come true to be here. I, I, I Honestly, the day before I left, I did not even believe I was coming. I thought they would change their mind. I cannot believe I am here. I just cannot believe it. I am fun, outgoing, but also very driven. I'm very A-type, and I can I sort of switch between like being easygoing and relaxed, but also being very focused um, and serious at the same time. I have sort of enough to get me through in every category that it takes to succeed in Survivor, but not too much. Because I think if you're a powerhouse, you stand out, but if you are, are a lame duck, then you're out of there. And so physically, I run marathons. I'm definitely very physically active. But if you put me side by side with any of these guys out here, no one would think I'm a physical threat. But I definitely will be able to, achieve, to succeed well in the challenges. Um, but I, I won't be the powerhouse. Um, mentally, I went to an Ivy League school. I'm like a smart guy. I know that. I work at a, a really prestigious law firm, but I'm not like a powerhouse intellect and I'm not a rocket scientist. So I think I can be under the radar there. So I think being like almost the best will, in all those criteria will take me very far. I think you have to be a very well-rounded player in this game to win. Um, I've watched every season of Survivor and something that I've seen time and time again is that people have to go in very flexible. You never know what this game is going to bring. Um, and if you're adaptable and flexible to your environment and to the people and to the situations, then you can go far. Also, people always say, like, I don't want to make a best friend out there. You know, this is just a game. But in the last couple seasons, like, the best friends have been sitting side by side there in the end. Like, it is important to be social and to maintain relationships out there. And if you can't, you know, be physical and be a physical threat, or if you can't be the smartest guy out there, you have to be a good guy and make, make alliances and actual genuine friendships in order to get to the end, I believe. In order to, to play this game, and you've seen this in the past few seasons, the players who have made the biggest moves are the ones who catapulted themselves to the end. Um, and in business and in the stock market, when you invest in very volatile stocks, that's when you get the most rewards. Similar in Survivor, when you make the biggest moves, although it could be the riskiest and then could take you out of the game, that is what you're going to need to actually catapult to the end. You can't just play under the radar the whole time, making no moves, taking on no risk. Because even if you make the final two, you're not going to win that million dollars. The jury's not going to go for you.